Welcome back everyone, Drake Hodgins again, and we're back doing some more Factorio Death World All Achievement Run, and uh, we have got some math to look at today, uh, We at least at the beginning. So uh, a couple of things I wanted to point out, uh, there was some discussion going on about what is, what's the best way to do this, or what's a... What's the advantages slash disadvantages? The best way is is to shut off Factorio and not play. Because if you're looking for the best or the right way to do something, there isn't. It's always situational, and uh, there's always different motivations to each one. So let's look at what we have here. Uh, this is 36 smelters with uh, speed module 2s in them. So this is basically taking the full build, which is your standard base build, 72 uh, electric furnaces intaking presuming this is the intake lines right here and this would be your oops this is your why do I not oh I don't have any belts never mind uh, this is your intake lines and your output lines so this inside line will be entirely compressed uh, plates this is copper or uh, or iron and this will use a basically half belt on each side like the old school one of uh, ore so these consume and output a full blue belt, this line here. Very, very long. It is uh, 108 tiles long, and it is 13 tiles wide. And that sounds very uncomfortable. What is getting bashed apart? Really? You gotta be like that? Oh, up there too, are you, huh? That's because they're really, really hitting him hard. Uh, what's going on here? Why are you getting no fuel? That's what's happening there. What's going on with their light oil? Uh, hello. Why for you are empty? Oh, you are legit empty. Oh, well, that's disturbing. Uh, light oil's not making it down the line. Did I break it somewhere? Did somebody probably point out to me that I broke it somewhere and I didn't realize it? That's supposed to be going to the right, yes? I mean, I think it's proper. Where's my break point? There's got to be something where I like screwed it up and I broke the, the direction, right? This has 100% oil. There, there. Look at that. There it is right there. There's the culprit killing the system on the east. That is a regular pipe. Fix it, please, bots. That would be lovely. Let the oil flow again. So all that time it was draining out the old oil stocks. Somebody should go fix that problem, right? Presumably, at some point. Yeah, this thing was full. These were all full. Oops. I think there's got to be somebody coming. There he comes, the hero of the day. Do, do, do. There we go. Now we have oil cranking down the lines. You guys are getting hundreds or thousand plus oil there, and you should have oil in your tanker. There you go. Phew. That was why they were smashing so hard. Sometimes you just got to check. So... Uh, back to this. This is 108 long by 13 wide. We can half that uh, to go down to 54 wide with uh, 36 furnaces if we put in speed module 3s. Those give a uh, 50% increase each, uh, giving you a crafting speed of 4 versus this is a crafting speed of 2. Uh, so we've halved the, ar the area, the land area, basically, to consume, uh, to use it. So these over here, as an example, were designed originally, uh, laid out originally. I got rid of some of these just to show it. <clears throat> this is a 24 wide, which would be the right amount if you were doing uh, 48 of them, so 24 per side, um, is enough to do a red belt. Of course, a red belt can produces or transmits 30 items, and these are 45. So we can actually do this. Uh, if I actually delete this line here, we take out 12 uh, that have no modules in them. Put in for the do, and now this is a this will be a full compression line here. Uh, if we had a full input line, we don't quite. Something something. Maths. Uh, I think this is a full line. Looks pretty full, but maybe not totally. Maybe it's not 100% full. Anyways, this is... There you go. More of them on. Now, it's using up every pretty much every pit, stitch of iron, right? Or copper, see? Nothing going down the end here. So it's using it all up. 
Now, um, the other thing is that the connection between these two that surprised me. Now, I'm not saying this to prove a point or make uh, an argument either way. I'm doing this to uh, um, tell you what I learned. So this was 34 beacons, 28 furnaces. We're going to assume that the inserters don't count as far as the, the power and whatnot. But this is one less beacon. Only one less beacon, but it is also um, 12 less furnaces. Now, what surprised me was this. I didn't realize that the beacons associated with it increase its speed, and that crafting speed determines its power. These guys use one, almost 1.5 one megawatts of power, 1.48 megawatts of power. These things up here use 972, so just shy of 1 this one uses so this 16 furnaces not counting the beacons this 16 furnaces uh uses 23,000. this 28 furnaces up here uses up 27,000. so 4,000 more um kilowatts of power from this build from this build's furnaces versus uh the other one and the difference for beacons is a beacon uses 480 uh, kilowatts of power period it doesn't matter if it's uh, well, if it's connected. <laughs> uh, if it is has no beacons in it, it uses 480. If it has any beacons or any amount, it uses 480. If it's being drawn on, it doesn't matter. So this amount doesn't change. So the effective difference between these is one uh, beacon, so 480 kilowatts power. This one uses 480 more kilowatts power in beacons and almost 4,000. Um, slightly less than 4,000 more. Uh, power from its um, furnaces and it consumes and produces the exact same amount now one point that was noted this comes out as one nice clean belt of blue this comes out as four splattered messed up belts of blue so you'd have to do some sort of uh, combination build to make it work I guess I don't know how you do it but um, to basically combine that stuff down to a proper belt Shouldn't be that hard to do. Could probably do it right in this space if I really thought about it. Uh, like force them to, you know, smash together sort of thing there. Um, but something else interesting. This build is, you can, I try to make it visual here. This build is four tiles vertically longer than this one. But this build is 15, I believe it was, 15 tiles wider. So the total sp area, space area this one is actually smaller by 141 tiles for what that's worth uh total power consumption between them again this one's 4000 approximately 4000 kilowatts more power than this is this is way less power like obnoxiously less power this is only 186 kilowatts which is uh, about 13000 for this whole build versus these ones which uh, are 432 I don't think I did the math on that, but 432 times, what is it, uh, 36? Yeah, that's 15,000. So it's barely more power. That does that seems weird, but it is the case, because you double, you half the number, so that you would have to go with 186 times 2, so this one is 372, because you've got half as many of them, and then you're only adding a little bit more from than that for the uh your 60 60 power more so this guy actually consumes substantially more power than this guy does well let's look at them here right 186 kilowatts of power this one's 300 or 432 which is actually 60 more than double this one but it produces at double the rate so to drop your speed, you're dropping this. Now, the other argument that I wanted to touch on, which is totally a valid one, is the amount of material cost. Or the, let's call it the capital cost. Okay. In discussion, I will probably refer to it as that from now on. The capital cost of these is very, very different than the capital cost of these. So these things are literally just electric furnaces. These ones get pretty expensive when I start putting in uh, speed module 3s, which take... Um, five 25 red 25 blue um and then another 20 red so 45 red red processing or red circuits 
25 blue circuits, um, 20 green circuits, and all of the process to build them. All of that is consumed by building one of these and putting those modules in, right? Double that. So it's a ton of resources dumped into this. Now, having said that, long term, they're... The, the longer they run, the less of the capital cost that matters, right, in standard um, economics. But this is also a good note to remember. We are trying to consume green circuits. So if we, if we can do something that turns on this menagerie over here and makes this go crazy, that's all, I'm all 100% in favor of that because it turns on our demand, which will mean that these guys are not piddling along at a... Uh, highly backed up slow poke way right I think this is one one of these is working from each of them basically it does very very little work to run all that so we're we're gonna take like 700 more episodes to do these uh, uh, this mass production three if we don't consume more stuff so we either do it with we either do the consuming with science or we do the consuming with um, modules and so on with building and expanding the bureaucracy is expanding to meet the needs of the expanding bureaucracy. So, um, I, it's interesting. It's not a conclusion either way. It really doesn't matter to me either way. So, I would say these may even be situationally um, have their own, definitely situationally have their own purpose. Now, this may be actually the, the most compact version of the four. I know there are better ones. This is 54 by 13. I don't know what that math is. 54 by 13. I got my calculator running here. 702 tiles. So it's slightly. That's 702. Okay, let's write that down. 702. And the other one would be 1404 because it's twice the width. Uh, 1404. And then. Uh, so the smallest is this at 702 tiles. This one here sits at 828 square tiles. Uh, total tiles and this is 969 tiles so this is a 141 bigger than this one uh, but a similar number 126 this is 126 smaller so and then there's this beast that is 1404 so this is the least efficient uh, both it's it's marginally less power it's so tiny this is always the way I would want to do it if I was doing straight smelts it's super compact too so that is probably going to produce a much cleaner interface. The only other factor you got to remember is that five input belts here, either of these, five belts of five blue belts of ore going into these uh, systems will produce five blue belts coming out. With either of these, five blue belts going in will produce six full belts coming out for the same amount of ore. So. There's your uh, info arguments uh, for whatever aside. That's where where's where that's at. I'm going to um, I'm going to leave these here, actually, for uh, for posterity and for wrecking our power grid. Let's pull that. Didn't kill the power grid. Oh, you know what? I'm going to actually take the no. I'm going to take that. Put him right back, and I'm going to say, go ahead and move this. <clears throat> please can we get it in somewhere that doesn't doesn't connect please that would be lovely right there thanks uh, and this one doesn't need to connect if I take that out good so I don't care if they're built I just don't want these guys consuming power that's a lot of power being gonna not a lot of uranium we would suck up if we left those on each of these what was that 70 something odds almost 80 of these things at uh, 480 kilowatts apiece that's pretty rough so uh, what do we do to build well we're gonna go over here first of all and uh, trim out this system uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through and remove uh, we can do a we can do a deconstruction planner. Yes. Let's do a deconstruction planner. And I'll right click on that and say whitelist. Only select filtered items when selecting the area for deconstruction. Do that. Go here. Electric furnaces. And 
Actually, I also want to remove um, blue fast inserters and power poles, medium power poles. Good. So do that, and I think that deconstruction module, if this doesn't break everything, should do this just fine. If I go like that, uh, I'm going to leave the top power intact. And I'm going to leave that last one intact as well. Boom. Do that. That should clean out everything but the belts. For the first... For all those guys there. Yes. Excellent. And then what I need is not those. I need... Why do I not have mod 3s? Speed mod 3s. Do I not have an order to give me speed mod 3s? Yes, I do. Why? For you are not giving me them. Don't you have a backed up system that's full of speed module 3s? Right there? Why? Why you no give me what I want? I'm a little confused. Oh, my logistics is off. That's why. Dumb dumb. I don't know when I shut that off, but okay. Oh, you know what? I bet you this save has a has an oops in it. This save has a... Uh, I, my son and I were uh, discussing this, which was a lot of fun, and... Uh, educational for both but it was uh also he wanted to see me he wanted to see the lasers versus the biters and learn a bit about them and uh oh hi i killed the power for these guys i i do apologize for my rude behavior little creatures there you go um so i actually went and showed him what happens when you just face palm into the into them without dodging and, of course, died and had to go back and get my stuff and so on. So there's going to be a death on record here that didn't happen for you guys. All right, our shell, artillery shell range one. This is what power warned us about. Look at that. There's the action. Let's watch our power grid, as he said. And I totally agree. This is going to be fantastic. We're consuming uh, about one gigawatt of power right now. Oh, this is, this is like Canada Day celebration. Or, for you guys, 4th of July, right? We're going to see the lights... All the fireworks going off, all the splody splodies. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Oh, blow up the base. Ah, it's so nice. So they're random all over the place. But what happens is, the moment you hit their base, all the biters in it act activate. What was that? What am I, what am I seeing there? Oh, that's the warning they're engaged, right? Yeah. Kabam. That's a hit there. Where else are they hitting? There? Up here, over here. <laughs> Where's my power there? Are you are you tweaking? Oh yeah, 1.2 went from nine to 1.2. So we use three kill megawatts or three gigawatts of power. No, sorry, 300 megawatts of power in in uh, lasers just to keep up there. And the solar is dropping too. Nice, very very timely, Drake. Very timely tech. So they're just they got they're pounding at us at swarms from every angle. Look at this. Because every base, every time a base gets targeted, they go crazy, right? Boom! Ah, all the guys that are there instantly join a uh, a bandit crew. They they send out looters, they send out looters and forest bandits to kill us. I think these are the forest bandits, but they found my imperial legionnaires. Um, Banner Lord, I'm on the brain. Sorry. Uh, this is a harsh mess. It does substantially slow them. I love when they try to get through this. Like, they hit they hit this wall. They can't get through without beating it apart. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I expected. I mean, it's still going, obviously, but we're not likely to cap much over that right now. If we go to the 10 minute, yeah, there's some pretty solid spiking going on there. 1.21 1 gigawatts of power. We also didn't upgrade... Man, I forgot about this. We did also didn't fix our, our uh, nuclear power system. This is, like, highly inefficient. We could make another batch of just this part, put it down here, and it would still not fill that thing. I forget what the math is in that, but I'll check it. Uh, I did get informed of what the math is in that. So let's, uh, let's go here. What do we got down here? We got uh, type 2s in all these, eh? Okay, so we're going to switch those, because they'll take the type 2s and put them back into the system, I do believe. 
uh, deconstructor there and uh, go like this please and go up to not touching that last power pole there okay and then I actually want this line to go out no nope. what do I want yeah that line to go out from here to here to there and then all of these need to be exchanged with uh, type threes right yes these all need modules in them good I think we have the right types of modules in all this stuff right we do Okay, so now we're going to uh, do a bit of this right here. I'm gonna pop that in. And then I actually want to remove all of the iron smelters entirely. My inventory is full. Really? Come on, logistics bots. Please to empty me. That's nuts. That is nuts. My inventory is just too full. Here, take all this stuff. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, that got them a bit busier than I anticipated. All right, and we're shutting down the iron, oddly enough. Right there, and there, and there, and there. And then I want to copy this whole thing right here. So this is the size. Uh, this is what you were talking about, Power, about how efficient this straight stack can be. So this is the one-to-one. -one. We're not putting any extra um, product. I can't even find my mouse. Any extra productivity into these. So this is one belt in, one belt out ratios there. But it's the same production as all of those were. With the weird, tweaky, off-balance nonsense I had going. As long as these are all prod threes. Or speed threes. There you go. They are. Okay, so uh, artillery's finished. Yeah, thanks. So we're going to actually be smelting um, more. And I like this compression, but I'm curious of its height. So if we do this, we'll know how... Oh, hi. That didn't work. We'll know how high this thing can go. No, we won't. Because it's not that high. It's actually three tiles less. So it's this height. Because the next one is going to actually fit on top of it. So this this would go right there, and then this one would land on top of it, right? So saving saving ourselves three tiles wide. Yeah. Three tiles from that. So we're instead of being 22 tall, we're actually only 20. Sorry, 23 tall? That is a lot of work they're still doing. 23. So we're 20 tiles vertical each time so where do we where do we build these oops <laughs> um, don't hold shift when you do that dude if we do that beacon that's that's really compressed it's it is it is good I do want that because I actually want the production return just just for the learning I want to bring copper I want to bring this stuff in generally in here. So if we have six belts coming in somewhere in here, we'll find a way to get them through and add them in in a way that makes sense. Yeah, that works. So six of those, they're going to be effectively somewhere over here. We'll remove that and that and that because it's doing nothing. Uh, and I'll actually copy this guy right down to here somewhere, if I can, please. There? Sure, it's close. Just to get a little better uh, coverage. And there, actually. A little less of a... A little less than ideal. That's fine. Okay. I just wanted a better 
spot, so I'm not running around frequently stepping into non, uh, non logistic areas. So I want to keep this below like these lines probably. So if we start there, we're going to do that. One, two, we need five of these. Three, four, five. And that's going to output six belts of copper. And then lengthwise, it's going to be effectively this. So we can actually pop back. We'll, we'll hit this guy, right? If we do that. Okay, that's less than ideal. We could have it run vertically, too. Okay. So if we do it that way... Well, that would work. We can have this thing in, like, over here, right? That can be our vertical. By that? Somewhere in there? Yeah, that works for me. That's our block of build. Hmm. Thank you. I don't know why they weren't getting rid of that. Those are too enjoyable. Okay. So take that out. So if we do this horizontally instead, that's a better build. I like it. Right? So inside that block is going to be our six belts. That's pretty darn awesome. Because this produces... Well, this is more compact. With a little more vertical length, we can get fit it. But we can fit these conveniently between the two very nicely with room to spare. So we can actually tuck it real close to here. And, uh, like, you can have it run along here. And still have enough room to put our output belts up there. I like that. Okay. I like it a lot. What I'd like to do, however, is do this. Can I... Can I copy this? Place her in... Uh, so it's going to be... Like this. But then can I very nice and conveniently get rid of like that and that and that for for power saving that seems weird but uh, I think it'll do what I want it to do okay then let's uh, slide this over a tile just for my sanity so that doesn't look as bungled up okay uh, and then we're going to take this. See, this doesn't take long, right? Uh, that's weird. Why did we have... Oh, that was... Right. That wasn't supposed to be that way. That was supposed to... That was just the, uh... The planning piece was in the way. There we go. So if I take this, then... And again, we're going to have to fix the top. So let's fix that top now. These are the outputs... You're going to have an output uh, here and here. There's, there's, this is solid, so I can't go there. Okay. How can we do this in a way that actually lets these output better? I can compress this. What do we need? What do we need going out of here? two belts so we basically need to have these four hit ram into each other right this needs to go like this and we come out like this this one needs to go in like here and come out uh, and yeah that won't work that way will it if we do the same thing here There and <laughs> mm. there and there, maybe. 
Just trying to think how this is going to fit. There. There to there. And then there. There. No, <laughs> that's not that's not doing the job. This is only outputting one belt. What am I doing with four? Jeepers. Okay, that's the dumb. That's the Drake dumb right there. Okay, go away. This is putting out two full belts. So each of these is half. Yes. Right, because this is slightly more than one belt. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. I has done math wrong here. The drawing board is wrong. These outputs are wrong. This is only cons this is only producing 1.2 belts. Not needed. All this is not necessary. Arg. Okay, so it's the same compression space, but let's uh, let's do this. Let's uh, go back to. No, I do need that. Hold on a second. Don't overthink yourself, Drake. You're overthinking yourself already. Don't worry. Back it up. Okay. This machine and this machine combine together on one belt. The four of these don't fill a belt. Because this whole thing produces slightly more than a belt. So this should produce about 0.6 of a belt. So this deal here should go in the middle. Okay. Um, okay, that's better. Oh, what was I thinking? Okay, in here, we need to actually drop these guys so they're not all on the same side. So what we'll do is take this uh, here. We'll drop you and go around onto the side of the belt. No, that's not going to hit that belt, is it? Yes, it is. So these guys will output these two and these two. We'll put output into this, 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 and this. They'll be all on the my side of the belt. So they'll all be on this side of the belt, nothing on this outer side of the belt. They'll whip around here, hit there, and then they'll become the inside of this belt, allowing this to combine. Good. Okay. Then the plan is to export that over here. Right? So let's cut that out and place it here. And I need to actually have that as well. Boop, boop, boop. That needs to get out of there. They come out. He comes out to here. These two combine. So this could actually be combined here somewhere. That would be good. This guy comes out like this. Turns this way. Comes out here. You do that. You are now... Like that, a, no, you're like this, and you're a double belt coming out, which will go in and add to another double belt. Okay, good, I like that. So that's the build. That was, that was a little less of a mess. That's better. These reach the outsides, and the outsides there. That's a little off. There you go. Okay, that's the build I want. We're 35 minutes in, so I'm going to actually go ahead and copy this right here. And we'll line that up. That's two, three, four, five. That is our spacing. Those are all going to, of course, have a ton more beacons in them, but I don't want to build the beacons that would then connect and cause problems with our power systems unnecessarily. So that's the build there. We'll get rid of this uh, marker.
Now, each of these have two belts coming in to a system. So let's go ahead and see. We want six belt output here, right? So if I go... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. You guys are going to come to the top and over. All right. <clears throat> Run down the line there. Six, and then those guys have to add in somehow. This is 1.2, so this guy is actually going to go here. Sort of. My thinks. Um, <clears throat> there, 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 I guess. Um, yes. Unnecessary. Uh, let's figure this. Oops. Let's figure this to go. Oh, come on, Drake. Use your use your fingers right. That, and I'm trying to click and drag this way. All right. So this is our four belts, four of our six belts, and this goes to this point where we go up here. There, there. You're going like that. Okay, now we've got six belts. Now we basically have to add belts in as we go. <clears throat> and I honestly think the best way to do that might just be to do this. And that hits there. Or an eight to six repeatingly. No, 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 no. Uh, priority output left. Correct? Alright, my brain's a little done for today, I think. So, maybe this doesn't make sense. Um, I suppose I could probably just do this, right? Does that work? Uh, this. Uh, and I mean, it's not going to priority output anything, Greg. <clears throat> we could repeat this. Is there a better way to do that? Probably is. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do that, but that and that, oops. Um, oops, this would be copy that all the way down there and all the way down there. So, I mean, it's compressing it up to the top belt. <clears throat> and then we do a six lane balancer, maybe. Just make sure it's right. No, it shouldn't. It should compress to the top and keep it flowing. And then as the top fills, the next one will. Yeah, that, that should work just fine. Right like that. Unless unless I'm missing something, that should do the job. So when it gets here, everything will push to the top. Again, everything will push to the top, and so on. All right. Well, that I think is the build that we're looking for. That's got to get a whole bunch of copper shoved into the back end of it. Conveniently, that is a horrible placement. Okay. Well, it line it missed by one lineup, one tile. We'll do it like that, and we'll pretend that it was supposed to be that way. The symmetry will wreck my brain. No, it's fine. All right, that works. It's pretty tight. We could have gone another tile or two north, but that works. Now what we'll end up having is uh, we'll have this line of copper plate coming in here that can then be fed into the base here. So basically, as this as this belt gets consumed... We put more 
supply in and more supply in and so on. I can almost just dump it right in here each time. Swing it through somewhere, pop it in there. <laughs> Force the line to be full. Conversely, I could just bring them across and fill them here. Hmm. No, I like this filling from the right. We just keep filling and filling and filling this system. As we go up, and then, uh, yeah, because by here it's just torn apart. It's drained heavily. Which is fine. All right, thank you everybody for joining me for another episode of Factorio. Hopefully that uh, first 10, 15 minutes was useful and entertaining, at least, for some of you. Um, I know some people are like, I don't care, just do it. Um, and others are like, no, this is the the madness and magic of Factorio. And uh, I'd just like to say, make sure that you uh, keep in mind that uh, not every... Is that right? That not everybody's going to have the same way to do anything. Uh, if you've watched any other of my, any far, anywhere in my content, you'll realize that I definitely don't have the best way, if there is such a thing, of doing anything, but it's very, very much fun to go through the math and think through it. That's kind of the geek of this game, so, uh, thank you everybody for joining me for another episode of Factorio, and we'll see you in game. <laughs>